Bharat means Bharatha, Bhava means sensation because your whole experience of life is sensory right now. What you see, what you hear, what you smell, what you taste, what you touch are different types of sensations. Bha means sensation, out of which comes emotion. Right. Ra means raga or the tune. The tune is not yours, the existence has already set the tune. Now you have to just find the rhythm which is the thala. If you find the right rhythm, you are a fantastic human being. If you miss the rhythm, you are crushed by the process of life. So we called this nation Bharata. Did we make a mistake then in converting our name from Bharat through India? A serious mistake because you need to understand this. Whenever somebody occupies a nation, any conquering forces, first thing they will do is they'll change your name. This is the technology of dominance. This is the technology of enslaving. If you look at the African-American history, when African people were brought in, the first thing is at the port, their names were changed. That's what has been done to us. Tiruvananthapuram is Trivandrum, Chennai is Madras. We don't know whether we're mad or we're rascals. <laughs> like this, India, what does it mean? It doesn't mean anything. So if I give you a meaningless name, you will become a meaningless stupid person in front of me because I have a meaningful name, I have a tradition, I have a culture, you have nothing. So in that context, we have become India. The concept of a nation must sink into everybody's mind. Yes. Because nation is just an idea. Right. When this idea burns through your mind and sinks into your heart and your passion is risen towards that, then you have a real nation. Otherwise, nation is just in the paper. This is the unfortunate reality for us right now. So at least when they left in 1947, the first thing we should have done is change the name in such a way that it resonates in some way in everybody's mind. Now you are using an English name. Hardly two, three percent of, our, of us can speak English language in this country properly, okay? Yes. I think this is one thing I would like to request the present Prime Minister. We must rename this country in a way it reverberates in everybody's hearts. Wow, wow, wow. I know a whole lot of uh, intellectual crowd will say, what is in a name? Yes. Okay, call yourself Tobu. <laughs> I'm not against anything. All I'm saying is, whatever we utter is only a sound. The meaning is only a psychological thing, a social thing. The sound is existential and it has a power. Bharat has power. That's this power has to reverberate through everybody's hearts in this country.